Hey everyone, welcome back to the Midwest. I mean, I can't really say welcome back to the Midwest because this is the first Midwest build I've ever made, which um, for those who are new, uh, I'm Prez. I make photorealistic city skylines content with attention to urban history, transportation, all of those kinds of things that really make a city what it is. And today I'm starting a short new project set in the Midwest and doesn't really have a name yet, you're going to have to let me know in the comments if you have a good name suggestion. Make sure to um, justify why I should choose your name, and uh, I'll choose a name for the next episode so we can name the city. But the, the name of the project is going to be just Winter in the Midwest, because that is the vibe that we are trying to capture here. Um, we're pretty deep in the winter right now. It's February. I'm in the Bay Area, so not too much snow here. Not at all, actually, but, uh, you know, I figured Snowfall's been out for you know, forever. It's no news to anybody, uh, but I really wanted to finally give it a proper try on the channel. I also wanted to, you know, listen and finally make something set in the Midwest. It's not Chicago. It's not Kansas City. I know you want me to make a huge Midwest city um, by far, by far the most suggested thing on the channel. Uh, it's basically a meme at this point. We're gonna be basing this city off of Oshkosh, Wisconsin, which is a small city in Wisconsin that kind of checked all the boxes for me. It's got a railroad going through, and um, it's got, it, you know, it, it represents a lot of the trends of industrial decline um, that you might expect from a Midwest town um, I mean, it's a more of a small city than a town, but yeah, I, I think it represents what I'm going to try to go for. Well, I want to just represent all of the various, you know, trends in urban history and you know, urban planning that might be reflected in a city like Oshkosh. The city's not actually going to be located in the same geographic area as Oshkosh, which is in more central Wisconsin. Um, we're going to be in the way, way south of Wisconsin, close to the um, Illinois border. And the idea is that this city that we're building here is going to be the terminus of a metro line. There is a metro line that terminates in uh, Wisconsin. If you're not aware, Metra is the Chicago commuter rail service. But I wanted this to not just be a Amtrak, you know, pass through town. I want it to be just the terminus of a metro line, and that'll allow us to build some cool infrastructure as well. Um, there's some cool stuff in the workshop that I want to work with. But yeah, the idea is it's it's a railroad suburb. And the railroad suburbs were kind of a earlier um, version of a suburb where uh, wealthy people would you know, live far out from all of the industrial mayhem of a city. But yeah, I mean, we're really gonna be focusing on urban history here. And I, I wanna make sure I communicate urban history and urban planning concepts um, as we continue in the series and make that a more primary focus than it maybe usually is. But I don't really know much about the Midwest, so I'm gonna kind of have to learn as I go. And I really encourage you to let me know if you have experience with the area or if you have any sort of trends related to uh, Midwest cities that you want me to communicate in the series. If you're enjoying the video, quick reminder, leave a rating, it really does help me out and um, you know, I want to get viewership nice and high on this series so that you guys can help me out with uh, working on this project, you know, learning all of the things there are to know about the Midwest because, I mean, there are a lot of people in my audience who are obsessed with getting me to make a Midwest series. So uh, it's finally happening. I'll just, I'll just need your help. So definitely leave comments. I'll make sure to read them all. You know, even if I don't respond to your comments, I've, I've read it almost definitely. So um, yeah, right now we're actually working on City Hall. I, I wanted to make sure that with the bones of the city, we got down really the core um, or at least some of the ideas that you'll see 
um, in the core of the city. So we're starting off by building City Hall. It's going to be pretty close to, although not directly in what you'd consider the downtown of the city. It's going to be like a couple blocks away from the main, you know, old town core. And the City Hall is definitely not, you know, a huge, like, old building. It's more of a, uh, a recent 20th century project that the, the city undertook while trying to maintain architecture at least sort of similar to what it's had in the past. Um, and that's the idea here, at least. I... We'll also be building kind of the, you know, the main street uh, of the city, and it'll definitely have one pretty well-defined main street. You'll see a little later the way I do that. Um, there's going to be a lot of hollowing out. There's going to be a lot of parking, and I know that it's not the most desirable thing to have in a place like that. But that's the point. Um, when you see me you know, plan an area that has what seems like way too much parking or you know, isn't very accessible. I'm just trying to communicate what um, what it actually is like in a lot of these places that uh, were hollowed out when the automobile took over and um, haven't really received much investment because deindustrialization in the Midwest and you know the Rust Belt um, kind of happens at the same time, or at least roughly the same time as the automobile taking over and you know that led to a really really heavy um hollowing out of um midwestern downtowns um and you know parking lots everywhere even where you really wouldn't want them to be and there's definitely some infill or of like development you know filling in those parking lots that's happening in some of these places but a lot of that development especially from what i can tell once again i've never been there never been to wisconsin but in oshkosh there's a lot of development happening happening along the uh the riverfront um and i it'd be great if you guys could tell me about that and what what's sort of going on there um it seems like some apartment buildings on the prime real estate on the riverfront that actually used to be industrial and have a probably a rail line going through there um but yeah, I am really looking forward to learning about this region and experimenting with Snowfall because um, Snowfall so far is working pretty well for me. For those uh, wondering, my graphic settings are not fully fine-tuned yet, um, but they will be pretty soon. And I, I'll try to get those you know, in, a, in a better place. Uh, I actually like them a lot right now. It's just as we build more, I'm going to learn a little bit more about uh, what I want the graphics to look like more specifically. So another thing related to graphics is this video is uploaded in 4K, um, not 1080p scaled to 4K, like actual 4K. I got a 4K monitor finally, uh, and I'm loving it, and I really hope you do too. I can't really go back and... Um, you know, even if you're even if you normally watch in 1080p you'll benefit from this because YouTube will compress the video less and uh, it you know just ends up better for you so it's just better for everybody 4k uploads from now on um, looking forward to it because I watched a couple city skylines videos in 4k when I got the monitor and it truly does look completely different um, like I'm not using dynamic resolution anymore because I don't really have to because uh, because my anti aliasings you know already scaled up to 4k levels just from my monitor um but the, the actual definition you know like the, the lack of blurriness it, it really does make a difference so I'm, I'm happy about that and even if you're watching on you know a newer macbook or a newer laptop or a tv uh might not be 4k you'll still definitely receive the benefits um with a lot of those high resolutions Another thing to mention quickly is if you want the map that I kind of based this map off of, you can download it in the description. I'll link it. I haven't actually uploaded my, you know, like this map itself that I've edited you know, with, you know, like the final version of the networks and trees and everything, but you can kind of get a similar, you know, a similar map with the, the non-snowfall one on the workshop. And maybe I'll upload this one in the, in the future if you guys are interested. It's basically just I, I replaced a bunch of the trees with, uh, you know, some of the bare trees from the workshop. And then uh, further than that, 
there there isn't too much else like i just loaded it with uh, snowfall but yeah i mean that's basically it for the time lapse we're kind of finishing this parking lot over here in the hollowed out downtown area we're gonna have a lot more of these and i'm pretty happy with this design anyway we're gonna hop in game now i'll give you a little tour of what we just built just so you know where it's situated what i'm planning for the series and uh yeah i'll, I'll see you in game Okay, we're here in game. Um, I need to adjust vehicle speeds in advanced vehicle options because that that's really stupid. How fast those trains are going? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll fix that. Don't worry. Anyway, um, those should be going a lot slower. We're we've got snow on the roads. Like we're 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 looking good here. Um, I. I still don't really know how to use snowfall and i can't really see any plow trucks coming um see i have the road maintenance depot here let me see where is it oh wait no there's a snow you need to spawn snow plows specifically huh what if i do that well, there we go look at that is that is that how that works I've never really seen a snowplow like that. Ooh. How, how are you getting the whole road in one sweep? We got any other... Here's a legit plow truck. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Where are you going to go? Over here? No? This way? This has already been plowed. See. What you're. Oh, this is a one way, I was gonna say. It's driving on the wrong side of the road. It's kind of bizarre that you, you know, the whole road gets plowed at once. It just kind of fades away, but, uh. I guess it works. I like the, um. the snow, um. animation kind of behind the. the truck. It looks good. Anyway, uh, the we've got we got snowplows in the city, and I am I'm loving it. Uh, this is what we've got so far. We didn't really build much, but I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what the city's gonna look like. Um, this is the city hall over here. I really like the building. The only problem is, but like it's not a reason not to use the building. Only problem is there's snow inside because the the building has an indoor area. But, uh, the game doesn't really know that, so there's snow inside. But, ooh, yeah, uh, I also have to slow down these, well, not necessarily this train, I guess that's an okay speed. Eh, it's fast, but the, the cargo trains are going just as fast, so, uh, we're gonna have to, you know, slow that down for sure in advanced vehicle options, because apparently that's, like, save game specific, so my Columbia City settings don't apply here for vehicle speeds. Uh, so I'll have to figure that out on my own. We got these plow trucks clearing out the roads. Um, gotta love it. Look at that. Nice diversity of plow trucks here. But my favorite building is this Rochester Church. I think it just fits perfectly in our little city here. Um, and it's definitely going to be a focal point for sure. It's going to be this like kind of beacon of you know, old architecture in this area that's covered in parking lots and, you know, old, um, kind of industrial buildings that are maybe a little converted, but kind of struggling. And we've got, whoa, we got a sign? Huh, okay. Nice. That's cool. Um, the only problem is this poppable asphalt, yeah, like, doesn't cover itself in snow um, when it's snowy. So we're just going to have to ignore that because it is kind of the only way to make parking lot. Actually, I mean, I I'd assume that uh, the parking lot roads would cover themselves in snow. But just for these urban parking lots, it doesn't really make sense to use those. So I'm just going to have to make them custom and just ignore that. Okay, this is kind of the main street. We're definitely going to place some, I think we're going to use the Kloss, uh parking spaces that are 
nice and you know new uh, for over here. Or I mean, you could let me know what you think. Maybe the city's like trying to experiment with some you know new trendy you know uh, techniques and has actually decided to add some sort of bike lane here. I wouldn't really expect it to be a very good bike lane, but uh, you know, considering there's parking behind the buildings, maybe the city somehow you know, decided to do that to attract investment uh, or something. You let me know in the comments what you think. I'm not really sure exactly uh, how often you'd see that kind of thing in a city like Oshkosh, but anyway, yeah, and once again, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, leave a name suggestion in the comments because I need a name for the city. It is as of yet unnamed because I uh, didn't really have an, any idea what to name it, so leaving it up to you guys, and I'll announce it next time. Anyway, snow looks very good. I like it. Hopefully, you do too. Uh, I'm going to end the video off here because I don't really know what else there is to show you. This is kind of the, the map here. Uh, we've got some fields um, and, I'm assuming, dairy farms because Wisconsin, um, and some, uh, some various rural, like, forest... It's kind of sparse. Um, yeah, we're not going to focus on the edge of the map too much. We'll definitely build a couple of rural scenes if I uh, get around to it. Mostly I'm just focusing on this core area, and it's going to be a short series, so hopefully you're excited. I I'm planning on you know around 10 episodes. I don't really know exactly how many episodes it's going to be, but the idea is a short series that doesn't take too long, but gives us all a taste of what a project like this can be like. But yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, a like would be highly appreciated. Supports the channel, supports the videos, supports me. Be great. Subscribe if you're new around here. Hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified whenever I upload a video. Um, if you want to download the save game, you know, get early access to videos, get teasers, get um, all sorts of stuff. Name in the credits, shoutouts. Go over to my Patreon. That's the description. Just become a supporter over there. You can get early access to videos for just one dollar a month. That's not much. That's like a. God, I was gonna say a third of the price of a coffee. That's like a fourth of the price of a coffee. At least here in California, coffee's expensive. Um, anyway, uh, you know, about coffee, you could buy me a coffee over on my um, you know, coffee page. Just one-time small donation, whatever works for you. Um, and I, I don't worry, I probably won't spend four dollars on a coffee. You'll probably be buying me like you know a lot, a lot of coffee because I make my own coffee. Era Press Gang, represent. Um, but yeah, support me over there as well if you just want to give a one-time donation, or if you just want to comment and whatever, um, whatever you want to do. I just appreciate you watching and participating, and I really hope to see you more. Quick shout out before we go to Joe Fox, LNX, Logan DeHoyos, Matthew Zyme, and Michael Slaughter. Thank you all so much for being patrons uh, over on my Patreon. Once again, you can check that out in the description. But yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you around for the next episode of Winter in the Midwest.